Hello guys. Now I want to talk on hypertension. This um, situation called hypertension, back in those days, we usually associate it with the elderly folks, those in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s and above. But nowadays, it's now more predominant in the younger population. We now see it in guys, girls in their 20s, 30s. Why? Now, what is hypertension? Hypertension is a situation whereby which blood flow through your vessels is excessively high. So it's normally as a human being, blood flows through your blood vessels. It exerts a pressure. When that pressure is higher than normal, when it's said to be higher than 140, 90, the normal range should be 120, 80 millimeter mercury. But when it's higher than 140, 90, you're said to be hypertensive. Now, what about the prevalence? How common is hypertension now? I'm sorry to say that researchers have shown now that hypertension in Nigeria alone, we now have over 1.5 million cases of hypertension every year. It's now more common than back in the days. Why? What's going on? Now, coming to the symptoms. Typically, hypertension has no symptoms, but when it's left untreated, it's a silent killer. It's something that it slowly degenerates some vital organs in your body. It's a slow killer. When it's left untreated, it can bring about a stroke. It can bring about congestive heart issues. It can bring about a heart attack. It can bring about kidney failure. There are so many complications associated with hypertension generally. It can also bring about angina, that's chest pain. A lot of people with, that are hypertensive complain of chest pain, angina. Like it's, it's very, very terrible. Now, another thing I want to talk about hypertension is its treatment. Now, I want to explain the treatment of hypertension under three categories. I'll talk about it under dietary category. I'll talk about it under lifestyle changes. And I'll talk about it under medications category. First of all, dietary category. There are some foods that... There are some foods that you have to avoid if you are hypertensive. Number one, processed meats. All these tinned meats, like you go to the supermarket, you see lots of them. Why? Because they have nitrites, salt, sodium. You need to keep it down. You need to keep down any food that contains sodium. Why? Because sodium is a vasoconstrictor nutrient. Anything that constricts your... See, see, see my hand. Anything that constricts your arteries, narrowing blood flow. So when blood is flowing, it exerts a pressure on your walls when that pressure gets too high like i said higher than 120 80 you can say the person is hypertensive so vas uh, sodium nutrients that are vasoconstrictors constrict your arteries make blood pressure high because when blood is trying to flow through your arteries it now exerts a pressure it's kind of struggling to flow so number one of them is processed foods like um, processed meat number two canned foods canned anything canned because of their salt content another example is cheese because cheese contains salts avoid cheese avoid oily avoid oily avoid oily foods avoid excessive fried foods you need to avoid them because you don't need too much oil because when you take a lot of saturated fats see my hand as an example this is let's say a section of your arteries they kind of form what we call atherosclerosis the position of fats around the layers of the lumens of your arteries so it's also narrows the um, the volume of your artery hindering blood flow so blood will have to flow strugglingly through your arteries creating higher blood pressure more pressure because it's more narrowed so oily foods and fatty foods should be avoided alcohol too should also be avoided sugary drinks a lot of people all these sugary drinks carbonated drinks they should all be avoided energy drinks too should also be avoided for someone who is having the issue of hypertension another thing you should avoid is pastries pastries they have a lot of salts they have a lot of saturated fats 
they are also as examples of foods you need to avoid now coming to foods you need to take for someone that is hypertensive they are foods rich in sod and um, foods rich in potassium and low in sodium because potassium is a vasoconstrictor nutrient sorry vasodilator like potassium dilates see my hands dilates your arteries when they are dilated blood can flow freely the pressure in which blood will be flowing would be reduced you see versus something that is constricting when it's vasodilating you see it's now more wider blood can flow more comfortably to reduce your blood pressure so i advise you take banana avocado beets legumes oats berries garlic oh yes garlic garlic is very very good for people that are hypertensive lycopene rich foods because of their antioxidant anti-inflammatory effects uh there's something i'm forgetting there's something something i'm forgetting probiotics yes probiotics probiotics like saccharonauts yogurt they're also very very good for people that are hypertensive now that's for the dietary treatment now coming to number two the lifestyle management for someone who is the hypertensive you need to exercise regularly stop being lazy exercise regularly increase your physical activity level it helps improve circulation it helps if you're a smoker i'll advise you to stop smoking quit smoking because smoking is definitely not good for someone who has who has for someone who has hypertension another thing you need to do is to manage your stress levels because when you're so you see we are so focused on you want to make money you want to go crazy stressing yourself you don't sleep at night create time for sleeping manage your stress levels you need that rest because when you're stressed your blood your um, your hormones hormone cortisol is secreted into your blood and these are stress hormones that raise blood pressure and blood sugar to make you walk is a kind of stimulant to make you walk more than normal so you don't really need that much cortisol in your blood for someone who is hypertensive so you need to keep them down by managing your stress and sleeping adequately night sleep generally now, another, the third category of treatment for hypertension has to definitely be drugs, medication, like, has to be like medication, medication, drugs, like ACE inhibitors, diuretics, antihypertensives, calcium blocker, calcium blockers, drugs that help control your, your blood pressure, vasodilator drugs, you understand? So, you need to, for someone who is hypertensive, you really need to, combine these three uh, uh, treatment categories i talked about you can't forget you meet your doctor to get you prescribed to get to prescribe some drugs for you antihypertensive drugs to help mitigate uh, hypertension then don't forget dietary factors foods i listed earlier to avoid and foods to be taken regularly and also lifestyle changes too because these three combinations will be a very very good fighting factor to this um, increase in incessant uh, cases of hypertension that is becoming so common imagine it when if you see someone in their 20s having been hypertensive why there are a lot of things that needs to be done another thing i recommend is always check your blood pressure always check your blood pressure because it has no obvious symptoms yes it doesn't have any symptoms so always check your blood pressure more regularly than normal at least once a week so when you notice any change you start like some lifestyle modifications to help mitigate the effects on the long run thanks stay healthy let's say no to hypertension it's a silent killer no no no